drawing a realistic head and face. So this is going to be our finished product when we're done today. Part one is eyes, nose, and mouth. We're going to start off with an oval or an egg shape. Either one will be fine. I do an egg shape by starting with a circle, and then I find a chin spot, which is about a third of the circle down underneath it. Round it off and erase that unneeded line. Now the next part is the most important step. We have to find the halfway mark between the top and the bottom. Okay, it's very important that the bottom half is the same as the top half. So you need to measure it. If it's not halfway, fix it. Okay, my students hear me say this again and again. You have to have it at halfway. If it's not half, the whole face will be wrong. Once you've got that halfway mark, then you can find the one fourth mark and the one eighth mark. Those are going to help us to figure out where the nose and mouth go a little later on. Now I'm going to make a horizontal line right there at the halfway mark. That's where the eyes will go. You'll see I'm making five ovals. That's just a way of measuring where the eyes go. When I erase the middle oval and the outside ovals, the eyes are in the right place. I make an open book shape above the one fourth line. Then I make some little parentheses around the open book. For the mouth, I go right above the one eighth line. I make a little curve that's about the width of the nose. Then I add these two little bumps right above it. That's actually the line between the lips. Now watch, if I extend that line just out a little bit to both sides, now the mouth looks a little bit more natural. We'll go back to the top lip later. Now, eyes. There are so many different kinds of eyes. You need to figure out what kind of eyes you're drawing and figure out the shape that they'll need to be. So you're going to change those ovals into eye shapes, whatever shape of eyes you're drawing. So here I'm going to add some eyelids, I'm going to add some pupils. I like to outline before I make it dark. There's the iris. Remember that the iris is usually going to touch the top eyelid or even go underneath it. Then I can go in and I can add texture and darken some things up. The eyebrows, we're going to just going to do gentle arches that are a little less than the eye's height up above them. Don't outline them, just gentle arches. Part two, ears, neck, and hairline. First thing we want to do is we want to adjust the shape of the head just a little bit. When we start with an egg shape or an oval shape, the sides are sometimes a little bit more round than we want. There are a lot of different face shapes out there, but in general, you want to straighten those sides out just a little bit. That will also give us somewhat of a jawline or a jaw shape. Check that your eyes are still halfway up. See, mine ended up getting a little bit off, so I had to make an adjustment. Very important that those eyes are halfway up have to make sure. Next, the ears actually go from the eyes down to the nose. Everyone thinks it's too big, but it's true. The neck should be from the outsides of the eyes. And notice that it goes straight down, a little lower than the chin. Then we make that diagonal line for that muscle that connects with our shoulders. Now, for hair, we have to find a hairline first. Your hair doesn't start growing just out of the top of your head. It comes down onto your forehead. It also extends down in front of your ears. That's very important. The hair starts growing in front of your ears. There are a million and a half different hairstyles, but they all start with a hairline. Here I'm going to show you one style of hair where the hair sweeps across the forehead. Notice that I started again at the hairline. Then I can erase the hairline. See, none of those lines went above where the hairline was. Then for the top of the head, I can come up to the scalp, bring the hair a little bit higher than the scalp, because unless the hair is wet or very, very short, it's usually going to have a little bit of height up above the head. So here is one kind of hair on one kind of face. We'll do more later. 